So let's get to the first one. What do you think is that? Just look at it and try to tell me. What is that? Atrial extrasystole. Okay. Well, uh, well, it's you know I I draw that. That's that's true. So maybe look at it. You wouldn't be so wrong. But still, the distances, do they change a lot and try to... I mean, that's quite irregular. It's irregular, isn't it? So what, what could that be? It's very irregular, like it's absolutely irregular. What's that? AFib. It's AFib, it's AFib, very good, AFib, yeah? Yep, it's AFib. So so the distances are, yeah, totally. And that's because it wasn't like the, the A, 2A equals X plus Y repeatedly, right? No, 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 no. Over here, uh, you would be right if all the other ones would be regular and you would see normal P, but, you know, I I draw it myself. So maybe it looks a P, but these are like waves, you know, like fibrillatory waves, okay? So, it, but but it's AFib over here. And you'll see, we'll come to the... Uh, Extra. What is number two? What do you think, guys? And it changes over here. Now it's one to one, and over here is three to one. What is that? Uh, that's the A V it's, it's flutter. It's flutter. A flutter. Okay. And it changed over here. Good. Third one. What is that? What is this one? Here's a P, P, P. Do I have a P, P, P? Yeah? So which one is this one? It's atrial. Extra that's the one. Yes, yes, that's the one. Very good. So so that's this one. Let's get here. So four. That's simple. These are not P's, but T's. That's a T. That's a T. And those are QRS complexes next to each other. But they, they are not wide, not bizarre. They look pretty normal. So what is that? So supraventricular tachycardia. Okay, yeah? Or atrial tachycardia. What about this one? Five. That's a. And I don't know if you can see it, but if I will help you, as that's a P, that's a P, that's a P, that's a P, that's a P. Is it an AV block? Which one? Second degree? No. Nope. I think it's the complete one. Which one? No, no, the, the sec. I think the it's the complete one, the third yes, one. Yes, yes, yes. AV block, third degree. Okay. Why is not the second one? Because you'll see. Wait a sec. Okay, so this is, it's the third one because it's totally like, they are totally independent, you see? 
In the second one, I told you the, the P would be always before the QRS, which it, P is here. It's behind the QRS, for example. Okay, yeah. Look at this. Six, what is that? And this is hard to tell, but I'll tell you this is elongated everywhere, constantly. So PQ is longer. So it's AV block, which degree? First. The yeah? first degree. Very good, very good. So that's this. What about this one? So seven. AV block also, but... No, no, it's not AV block. And some things can repeat over there, of course. You see P, negative P over here? Suprasystal? Not suprasystal, but extrasystal and supraventricular. Yeah. Very good. Supraventricular or atrial supraventricular extrasystole. Or in other words, supra-systole. <laughs> okay, uh, eight. This is most difficult for most of you. Normal. Yes, very good. The most common, if you won't be a cardiologist, that's the most common ECG you'll, you'll see. Nine. So could so is that supposed to be like a PR interval that is prolonged and it's lengthening like until it's going to be dropped or you are very right it's, so it's Beckenbach or more bits yeah. one yes so it's the mo the type one yes yes more bits one very good good so let's get to the next one ten. So this has no QRS in one of them, right? Yep. We just spoke about this, actually. I so, forgot that. <laughs> so this is a P, this is a P, this is a P, this is a P. It's a trick. This is a trick. It's coincidence in a way. It looks like what? It looks like AV block third degree, but it isn't. Which one it is? It's Mobitz 2. Mobitz 2. And trick is that every second one drops, as I told you. Every second one drops. Okay, so it's more. This one is very dangerous, of course. So Mobitz 2. Watch out. Every second. You see, here's a QRS, and here, always there's a P in a normal distance before it. If this would be. It would be a really coincidence if it would be AV block third degree and that the atriums and ventricles would just go like, atriums would go double speed, double as fast as the ventricles, and it would be just timed right like this. So so, so this is Mobitz 2, and just every second one is dropped, okay? It's not conducting. So Mobitz 2, so second degree, second type. 11. And this is this, you won't guess if I, I have to put here inspiration, inspiration, and expiration. And now you know this is to, fully physiological and this is the ECG you, you want to have. Because if you're, this is a respiratory arrhythmia. And if you're having it till like higher years when you're 20, 30, <laughs> It's a good pred predictor that tells you you won't have a hypertension, etc., etc. Okay, so it's good to have a respiratory arrhythmia, very physiological one. Twelve. Is it just regular bradycardia? 
Very good. It's a sinus bradycardia. So a athlete or hypothyroidism or whatever. Good. Next one. 13. Tell me. Isn't it just tachycardia? Yes. And which one? Is it from a sinus or it's atrial tachycardia? I think it's the sinus one. Yes, because you see P's over here everywhere. There there are P's. There's a T. Um, so it's a sinus tachycardia. So this would be tyrotoxicosis uh, or just running, you know, stressed, whatever. What about 14? That would be a supraventricular tachycardia. Yeah, supraventricular. Supraventricular yeah. or atrial, that's the same, atrial yeah, yeah, okay. tach. Yeah. Very good. 15. Like mitral? No. And I'll help you again. P, 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 inverted P, 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 P. It's a R ventricles fully independent to atriums. Yes, so that. No, 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 no. It's it's the second, right? The second no, 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 no. It, now it's it's fully independent. Look at that. You see? Look at it. P, P, P. It has its own frequency. And QRS ventricles, are, so it's AV block. Three. Three, third degree. Yeah? Complete. Yeah? Good? Okay, so next one. 16. And here are three examples next to each other. So very fast. Look at this. Look at this. What, what do you see? Which one is? What is this? What is this? Is it bizarre, the QRS? Yes. So it's? AV block? No. Oh, no, so ventricular extrasystole. Very good. What about this one? Is it bizarre? That would be AV block, no? No, no, no. Is it a extrasystole ventricular? Yes, it is. It's bizarre, yeah? Compensatory pulses looks like complete, and there is no P. So again, extrasystole. These are two different extrasystole. What does it mean? From two different places. And mm -hmm. over here, they put it together. So this is from SA node. Here's an extrasystole from one place. Again, SA node, an extrasystole from other place. So it's bigeminically bonded extrasystole okay and polytopic okay polytopic okay yeah so polytopic yeah it's like example a b and c which is a combination of a and b okay good 17 and we got only a few more Are these bizarre complexes, one after each other? So it's what? Ventricular extrasystole. Yeah, well, yeah, many of them, three and more. Yeah. VTAC, very good. Only five more, I guess. So this one, look at this. What is this?
V-fib. It's V-fib, okay? And here, discharge and conversion, okay? So this this is a shock. He was shocked. Okay. Okay? So defibrillation or defibrillation. Which one is this one? This is very debatable, but over here you see the shark teeth, but over here they change a bit. So this is something between atrial flutter and maybe AFib, but uh, it's rather atrial flutter, okay? This is complicated bit. Yep. Over here, what it, now you know this one, definitely. Is it bizarre? So it's V Tach again, ventricle tach here. What about this one? You have to know this one. That's V fib. Okay, that's ventricular fibrillation. Yep. And the last two. This this looks like a still shark teeth a bit. So it's atrial flutter and turns and into second part of ventricular flutter. Yes, 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 ventricle flutter. Okay. Debatable term. And over here, last one, finally. Bizarre, bizarre, bizarre. So, ventricular extrasystole, which is monotopic. It's, it looks the same, same shape. And it's trigeminically bound it or bind it or I don't know so guys that's it so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell and as always check the description below for supplementary questions and other materials